taxpayers can feed invoice and other returns related data in the offline utility either by manually entering the details directly into the tool or by entering them into the GSTN provided standard Excel or CSV templates and then importing those templates in the tool. This video will walk you through the steps of populating invoice data in CSV templates followed by importing line items in the offline utility and then uploading all of it to the GST portal. There are nine CSV templates, one for each category of information to be submitted for GSTR1. The CSV templates are to be used only for submitting details for a particular section. Assuming that you have already downloaded the returns offline utility from the GST portal and have extracted the CSV templates as shown in the earlier video, please go ahead and open a CSV template. Note, if the sample data is present, you must delete it. Otherwise, this data will get included with your actual data when you import it in the offline utility. It is also advisable that you rename the template to reflect your GSTIN and the calendar month as applicable for your return. For demonstration purposes, let's explore the CSV template of B2B invoice category. My template already has some data in it, so you could see a real-life scenario of how the CSV file should look like after entering the details. Ensure that the CSV generated by your accounting software is similar to the format of the CSV template downloaded with the offline utility tool. Also ensure that the data entered in the CSV format meets the functional validation criteria given in the help instructions sheet of the standard Excel template. Non-adherence to the standard format will lead to errors while uploading data to the GST portal. Let's go ahead and import this template in the offline utility now. Assuming the utility is already installed on your computer, launch the utility by double clicking its icon on your desktop. Click the new button in the first tab. This will take you to a screen for capturing some preliminary information before moving to the upload section. From the GST statement or returns drop down list, select GSTR1. Next, Enter your GSTIN, select the financial year and the tax period for which you want to upload invoices. In the next column, enter your previous financial year's aggregate turnover and then the aggregate turnover for the quarter ended June 2017. If you are a new taxpayer and these fields are not applicable to you, then please enter zero. Make sure that the amount you enter here matches with the figures declared in the GST portal if entered already. Once done, click proceed. On the next screen, click the import files button. In the Select section drop-down, select the category for which you are going to upload the CSV template. Based on my sample file, I'll select B2B invoice here. Then click Import CSV and select the file. Accept the warning message and go to the summary screen to see the line items uploaded. Click the section name to view the captured line item details. You can edit or delete these line items by selecting them from the listing. Editing is allowed only for correcting the typing error and not for the original details of the invoice 
such as invoice number, date, etc. Likewise, you can repeat the same steps to enter more invoices or import CSV files of other sections also as required. The key factors that will be validated while importing the data are 1. If supplying through an e-commerce portal, the state code of supplier GSTIN and e-commerce portal GSTIN should be the same. 2. No two line items should be exactly the same to avoid duplication error. 3. Amount should only be up to two decimal places and negative values are not allowed. 4. Date format must be date, month, year. 5. The values such as GSTIN or UIN and invoice number should be entered for all line items even if multiple lines are entered for a single invoice. 6. The GSTIN of the receiver should be entered in the standard format. Once the invoices are imported into the offline utility for this month, the next step is to upload this information to the GST portal through a JSON file, which is created from the offline utility. Click the Generate File button to generate the JSON file and save it on your computer. This file carries a default name with a combination of GSTIN of the taxpayer, return form number and the month for which it is generated. Please feel free to rename the file if required and ensure that the file size doesn't exceed 5 MB. Around 19,000 line items make 5 MB file. If the file size exceeds 5 MB, then you'll need to upload lesser number of invoices at a time and repeat the upload cycle to cover all invoices. Once done, log in to the GST portal and find your way to the returns dashboard. Select the financial year and return filing period as you did in the offline utility and click search. The pending returns of the selected tax period will get displayed from the outward supplies made by the taxpayer GSTR1 tile. Select the prepare offline option. Then select the JSON file that you created and click Open. If the file is uploaded successfully, the system will display a message stating that your uploaded invoices are being processed along with a reference ID. Depending on the number of line items uploaded, there will be a gap of few minutes from the time you upload the invoice data on the portal before it appears under the relevant section on the returns dashboard. This happens as the GST system performs certain validations such as ensuring correctness and validity of the GSTINs of receivers and e-commerce suppliers, finding duplicate entries of invoice numbers for all returns filed by you in past months of the financial year for which you are filing the return. Checking for invoices which are dated prior to the date of registration of the taxpayer or after the GSTIN becomes inactive if applicable. Verifying the invoice dates to ensure that they were not issued after filing of September GSTR 3 return or the annual return of the previous year whichever is earlier. Checking the validity of port codes in case of exports. Matching of credit and debit notes against uploaded invoice details. Identifying the validity of HSN codes if declared. The status of uploaded details gets updated 
once the processing and validation completes. If all the entries were correct, you should be able to see the invoice details on applicable sections of GSTR1 dashboard. If the system detects errors in your data or if you face any challenges with resolving the errors, please refer to the troubleshooting steps given in user manual and the help instructions sheet in the sample Excel template that came along with the offline utility. Thank you.